Dan is not on fires here. Hi. Hi. My video is processing infinitely. Really? Yes. Something has gone weird. What's happening? I don't know. Do you want to come say hi to you now? Um, I could. Yes. I was just doing Jigglypuff noises. You can do a good one. It sounded like you were doing a Marcus Butler noise. Oh, uh, that, that wasn't Jigglypuff. That was, <laughs> was it not? Jigglypuff! Do yours? Um, what, uh, no. Dan is weird, said Tasha. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree with that statement. I want a little bit of space from the day in the life in London, so it's not just like, day in the life, day in the life, day in the life, life, life. Whatever Phil wants. Whatever Phil wants, whatever Phil gets. I just burped, I hope you didn't notice. Well, I covered it up quite well. Attractive. I salivated on my computer earlier as well. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was like, bleh. <laughs> they appreciated that. I'm hoping it's was not it there. On yeah, I, I don't, I'm hoping no one saw. Amazing. But now Phil, do you like your eyes, says Cece. Cece. Um, I like the colour of them and the general whiteness. I think they have a good amount of whiteness. But they don't work. Huh. So I hate being blind, so I'd swap them for boring colour eyes. What's boring colour, Phil? Boring colour is like a really dull shade. Who are you about to offend? No one. I saw a man in a WH Smith's yesterday and he had two different colour eyes. Wow. And I was just staring at him mesmerised because mesmerized. I haven't seen eyes like that since my granddad. My granddad had a brown eye and a blue eye. Which is cool. But apparently that only travels through the females in the family, so there was no way of me getting it. But that was a guy. But he was a guy. I don't know how it works. Also, most of my Cullen, Cullens... Most of your Edward Cullen. No, most of my cousins are colorblind. But that also goes down the female route. So because my mum is a mum, and it's her side of the family, I didn't get colorblind. Which is good, because I like seeing colours. <laughs> Do you? Yeah! If anyone is colorblind, like what? A st stupid question, but I want to know like what you see. I guess you wouldn't know otherwise. They just have trouble. Yeah. Like, red and stuff, I, think. I know my cousins. Like, if we're playing a game that involves like a game of pool, they can't tell the difference between the yellow and the red balls. I think that's a good example. So I don't know if they both look red, or they both look yellow, or they both look grey. If anyone can explain it to me, I'd be interested, but it's probably hard. Erica's, up in the Erica's friend can't see orange. I think the most common one is like orangey and yellows. Ella's dad sees in black and white. Lindsay gets beige and green mixed up. Whoa, so there's quite a lot of colorblind people. Vera can't tell the difference between green and red. That's, whoa, there's loads of you. I didn't realize it was that common. Maybe everyone that subscribes to me is colorblind. <laughs> And I just, yeah, brought you all together. Red and yellow. Maybe there's like slight ones that some people don't even realise they have. Because how would you know? And I always wonder like, if I see colours the same as other people as well. Because everyone's eyes are different. Which is like, tongues. Fact. Well no, <laughs> this is like science with Phil. But everyone has different tastes, don't they? Like, you love the taste of egg. And I don't like the taste of egg. I would say I love the taste of egg. You love egg. So, maybe eyes are the same. Perhaps so. This Is this interesting? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm enjoying science. Are you enjoying science, are you enjoying science with Phil? I'm enjoying science with Phil. That's a good question. I hope you are enjoying science with Phil, because the next thing I want to talk about is, what's that thing where you see colours as words, Dan? Synesthesia. Synesthesia. My mum has that, and she didn't realise she had it. She was talking what? about... She was talking about the months, and I was like... Um, what month are we going to Florida? And she's like, oh yeah, uh, green. I, I mean, May. And I was like, what do you mean green? She's like, well, May is green. I was like, what do you mean May is green? And just for her whole life, she thought everyone had associated May with the colour green. And she's got it for every month and every um, day as well. Apparently January is white. And I remember she said that June is blue. It Loads of people have it though, it's like they will smell a certain emotion or they will hear something and then it'll make a taste in their mouth. It's crazy. 
Something about the brain going insane. Rose says, June is green. And Leanne has it. Insane in the brain. Wait, what is happening? It's very hard to comprehend if you don't have it, which I don't. So I was like, what do you mean May is green? And numbers. She sees numbers as colours as well. well. I need to commit you to an institution, mum. But I don't know if it's like, if it's written on the page, does that mean they see it as that colour or it's just associated emotionally with that colour? I don't know. We should do more research and get back to this question. They're like memory cues, says Caitlin. Okay. Interesting. Oh, Millie has it with company, I mean countries, and Germany is blue. Coca-Cola is red. Stop thinking about everything I say wrong. Sorry. <laughs> I can't speak, as you all know. I can't speak either, it's okay. 